Welcome back, everybody. 917, almost 918 on the Sunday morning. Check this morning. Acid reflux is a common medical problem for adults. But a South Jersey doctor thinks some cases could be another condition, one he calls asthma of the esophagus. Health reporter and registered nurse Ali Gorman explains. Michael Craig never had more than the occasional indigestion until one day during mealtime while he was in the Navy. Something was stuck, and what, like I couldn't breathe. It resolved that time, but it happened again and again over the years with no warning and no clear pattern. He was told it was reflux, or he was eating too fast, or it was stress. However, tests didn't offer any clear answers, and no medication or treatment helped. Every meal had a black cloud hanging over it. I know just by the look that there's a problem. And then he just says, you know, he excuses himself. An episode at the rehearsal dinner for his daughter's wedding in Hawaii was the last straw. I took one bite of food and had to get up to leave. Michael was so worried about another episode, he barely ate at the reception. Chicken Dr. Brian Berberian at Our Lady of Lords Hospital I've, I've says Michael has EE, eosinophilic uh, esophagitis. Uh, it's been known among kids, but he thinks it's on the rise among adults. I have, oh, I think, about 20 patients with it, and I've only been in practice two years. In EE, an allergic reaction causes white blood cells called eosinophils to invade the walls of the esophagus, the tube carrying food to the stomach. Those walls become inflamed and the esophagus narrows. Michael has undergone several procedures to open it up. Certain foods or food preservatives <laughs> may be the triggers. There's been some studies that show soy, wheat, eggs, seafood, things like that have uh, sometimes triggered a lot of these attacks. Dr. Barbarian uses asthma inhalers to control the allergic reaction, and he has patients get allergy testing to search for possible triggers. But research into adult EE is still in its early stages, and finding it requires taking tissue samples from inside the body. Dr. Barbarian tells people if you're having problems and reflux treatments are not working, talk to your doctor about getting screened for EE. Allie Gorman, Channel 6, Action News.